I can make any adjustment I want, but in all reality, I don't have to make any because this particular receiver just runs right past the cornerback. I don't know why he doesn't recognize that, but like I said, it's really glitchy and it works every time. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an explosive offensive play for you guys today. This is probably one of the off-meta, meta passing plays in the game right now. A lot of pro players are using this particular formation. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different setups to basically home run every single defense Woo! in the game. If you guys want to see a full scheme of this, though, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm in the pistol playbook one more time, but I will leave in the description what other playbooks this is in. I think it's in the Falcons, maybe the Rams. It's in a couple different playbooks. The play itself is the PA post shot. Now, the particular route that I'm going to score with and the setups will change based off of what defense I'm looking at. So stick around for that. Other than that, let's go and let's pick that play and let's get right into it. I'm going to just stay in the big nickel this entire time. We'll go ahead and we'll start off with cover two and work our way back like we always do. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mud team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out and use your discount code MONEY, which gets you 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, like I said, this setup is going to change pretty much every single time cover two is probably one of the easiest I'm against cover two all you have to do is put the y route here on a slant that's it now the a route there is probably one of the worst blocking tight end diagrams in madden history so you're going to want to put him on just a regular uh pass block so now he's not actually making that motion i don't know what that fake is about maybe it has to do something with a run play i'm not really sure but make sure that you always set him to a regular pass block you can even you know slide to the right you can uh double team if you want to although i'm not even in the double team section you you can double team this defensive end because a lot of times it helps to roll in the direction of the throw especially if you have a quarterback who doesn't have the strongest arm kind of like i don't but you can see right here this x route here gets immediately open based off the fact that this particular play is just a devastating home run waiting to happen if we go to the replay you can see it's really all about how this safety reacts nothing is on this side of the field there's no routes to basically pull him back so he just kind of like sits and fades off this is something that happens in a lot of madden plays uh when there's nothing on one side of the field is the safety and even the cornerbacks just kind of do nothing he basically is just going to react to the only route which is the slant now the slant is what brings him down and then you can see you know i could throw this ball the second this guy gets inside of the safety i could throw it at any point in time i don't know why that safety doesn't follow more based on the fact that there's really nothing in this area but this is a very easy one play touchdown so i'll go and i'll do that one more time like i said just block your tight end I think sliding protection probably makes the most sense, but there's a ton of protection on a play like this. I'm surprised the mid-read doesn't help out either. As you can see there, I'm really just bullet and pass leading up or away, and it's an easy one-play touchdown. Going to have that same success against cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that. Against cover two man, same thing. Just slant your Y route, put your A route on a pass block. Uh, the slant's going to be a good check down against man coverage, but why would we want that? When we could score, as you can see right here, we're going to pretty much have the exact same effect Although it's slightly not as much separation as I was like, but you can see it's a very easy one play touchdown. So we're going to move on to cover three. This will have success against that as well. It's going to pick cover through sky. This setup here is going to be the one that's different. If I if I do that same setup and I just put that Y route on a slant, there's nothing really pulling that safety back. And you can see the cornerback actually gets back pretty well too. You can have success with this. If you make a mistake, say I were to have Quez Watkins there, you could still have success with that. But ultimately the traditional setup that I see people using is putting the Y route on a streak this time and then putting the A route on a wheel route. Like I said, you could do it with a more, you know, a speedier receiver, but not everybody has that. So if you want to use a casual, normal speed receiver like Smith, this is going to be the setup. The, the wheel route here is really going to pull 
hold down the cornerback. And then you can see we have a very big uh, one-play touchdown with, uh, I mean, he's like a 91 or 92 speed. So very easy setup. But you can also put the wide route on a fade. I think that might be a better way. But a fade and a wheel is pretty much going to be it. You can block the running back if you want. Uh, but ultimately, this is a very easy one-play touchdown against any cover three defense. You just want a bullet pass lead away from the safety. And you can see how we can score from just about anywhere on the field. Now, cover four is probably the most unique. And when I say that, I mean the cover four. I'm going to have to leave this formation and find a cover four drop. This one's going to change which route I throw to. Now, this particular play is a natural one-play touchdown against cover four, but I'm going to want to run it from a hash mark because I'm going to need the extra space. As far as this play goes, I don't have to make any adjustments. The Y route is just a natural cover four beater. I've showed this route in plays in the past. For whatever reason, it just gets right past the cornerback there. As you can see, we get a very easy one-play touchdown if I was in bounds. This is one of the reasons I mentioned that I really want to be from the hash mark because for whatever reason, this particular route just doesn't draw the attention of this cornerback who's really tasked with holding down the outside quarter. I can make any adjustment I want, but in all reality, I don't have to make any because this particular receiver just runs right past the cornerback. I don't know why he doesn't recognize that, but like I said, it's really glitchy and it works every time. I can go back to the uh, the wheel route setup too. If I do that with the wheel route and make that my only adjustment, the Y route seems to get open a little bit faster. So you can see here, I can throw it a little bit quicker because the wheel route pulls that cornerback down a little bit faster. So it becomes an easier, quicker one play touchdown. And that's kind of important because ultimately you need that extra extra time and that extra space for the catch and run because you can see the previous setup I didn't really have the timing to catch and run so from with this setup I can score from anywhere on the field now this play is also going to be super glitchy against regular cover four uh, match uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll pick up for quarters here. Once again, it's a natural one play touchdown. We don't really need any adjustments. I keep letting, uh, you know, the tight end would be the only thing I would change. But you can see he runs right past uh, that safety who's never really going to be able to keep up with a speed receiver like Quez Watkins. But if you have a slow receiver and you're trying to do this play against cover for quarters, just put the A route and the X route on uh, quarter on curls excuse me and then you can see how this receiver will get passed one more time uh, although you can see right there even the cornerback kind of came back into play a little bit so it's not the easiest route to do and last but not least we did go over uh, cover two man but let's go over cover one hole it's going to be pretty much the same setup i'm just going to put the x route here on a streak although realistically i can choose whatever route i want at this point the the y route is a very good man beating route but so is the x route they look the same even though they're not but you can really use either route as you can see right there we get a very easy one play touchdown cross in the field you can do the same thing with the uh, the x route you can put the y route on a streak Although in reality, I think the Y route's a much better man beater now. This year, I'm gonna need much more speed. As you can see, Quez can outrun that defender, but with a slow receiver, it probably wouldn't get the job done. Early in the year, I really feel like the route that the X route was running was more the meta route. Now I feel like it's the Y route. You saw it against cover four, and I also think it's a much better man beating route now as well. So that's that's the vid. If you guys wanna see more plays out of this formation, a full offensive scheme, let me know in the comment section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.